Hello everyone, I present you a new section, Last Battle, in which we will squeeze everything possible out of amplifiers. The first in the last battle will be an amplifier on the LTK5128 chip and it will work immediately on a 2 ohm load. Until the last sound, until the first smoke, I added a 100 nanofarad capacitor and an inductance coil to the output chain of the amplifier, because without them, it is impossible to see a clear audio signal on an oscilloscope. And now the output is a purest sine wave. No D-class carrier frequency noise, as if it were a good AB-class. Also an AC voltmeter. And how much power will this very small amplifier produce? For better heat dissipation from the chip, I'll be clamping a heat sink to it. We start with a supply voltage of 5 volts, and watch the signal on the output until distortion appears. 2.6 volts. Do the math and you get an output power of 3.4 watts. That's not enough. We need to raise the supply voltage. And to give you a better idea, I'm going to connect another voltmeter. The first one is the output voltage. The second one is the supply voltage to the amplifier. I'm increasing the voltage to 6 volts. Let's see the distortion. The output is 3.1 volts. A little help from the calculator and we've got almost 5 watts. That's a bit weak too, which means we need to add more volts. And the chip is getting very very hot. I can't put my finger on it. I'll use a toothbrush. The supply voltage is 6.5 volts. And 3.3 volts of pure signal output. That's 5.5 watts. Let's keep experimenting with the power supply. 7 volts, 3.6 volts out. And that's 6.5 watts. That's not bad, that's twice as much as a 5 volt supply. I'm going up to 7.5 volts. And the signal's gone. Maybe the over temperature protection was working. I'll try switching off the power for a few seconds. No, the chip won't start. It turns out that on a 2 ohm load, the maximum it can produce is 6.5 watts of pure signal with a maximum power supply of 7 volts. After that, the chip burns out. Write your comments. What do you think about such experiments with the amplifier working at its limits? Further will be more interesting. I already have more powerful amplifiers in preparation. Give me your likes. I hope you enjoyed it. See you soon.